with me, Tom Skinner, in the beautiful place that is Edinburgh with the stunning Toby Carvery. We're on a mission to find the tales and the secrets told over the nation's favourite, the beautiful roast dinner. But first, we're going to go and see some of the unsung heroes of the nation, like the fabulous Mary. Let's go and see her mate Josh, who knows her better than anyone. Her bosh. We're heading to Social Bite Cafe to meet Josh, the co-founder of Social Bite. Josh has nominated Mary, our unsung hero for today's story. Josh, how are you doing? Tom, great to meet you. Listen, I've heard so much about Mary. She's a proper inspiration. Let's go and see her, eh? Absolutely. Should we grab a coffee and we can walk and talk? Tell me a bit about her story. Yeah, so it's a real inspiration. We met Mary about six years ago and we built this project called the Social Bite Village, which was basically a little accommodation project for people that are homeless to come and live and find their feet. Um, so she really kind of built her life up. She ultimately moved out into her own flat uh, and now she's holding down that flat. But more than that, she's become like a real sort of ambassador and spokesperson, not just for Social Bite, but around the issue of homelessness generally. So yeah, she's a, she's a massive inspiration. Do you know what? I can't wait to meet her. Let's go and get a nice Toby Carvery, eh? You right there? Nice to meet you all. Well, I've heard some brilliant stories about Mary. I can't wait to find out what you'll love about her. Now, Mary's just about to arrive, and she has got no idea that her closest friends are here to celebrate her with a lovely roast dinner for all the greatness that she's done. Guys, she's on her way. Shh. Mary! Hey, how are you? Probably wondering what's going on. I well, don't have a clue. all your lovely friends are here because they want to say thank you for all the fabulous things you've done and we're going to give you a lovely, nice bit of dinner. All right? Thank you. Well, come and say hello, everyone. Being my mother, <laughs> she's absolutely fantastic. You know, she's amazing with her grandchildren and she's been through a very, very difficult time. So anything that comes good in our life now, she deserves 100%. So I'm proud of her. The village, she really created a culture of kindness that just echoed through everything. The whole village was sort of inspired by her in many ways. Cheers. Mary, firstly, everyone has said such lovely things about you. So tell me, how did you end up at the village? I suffered um, a vicious and sustained dog attack. And after that, I just mentally, I just went downhill. I was with someone who didn't understand what I was needing. I needed to sleep, I needed to rest, I needed to try and recover from the trauma. And it ended up that I was so low that I had to leave. So I sofa surfed, I lived with family and friends. It was hard and the village was my lifesaver. Everyone's told me about the food, about getting together with the food and you know teaching people to cook and showing them. Where does that come from? I think it was, it was all of us. It wasn't just me, it was everybody. I mean, we had a great, I mean, I learned to cook some things that I would never ever thought. That's the good thing about the food. People had dishes from other places. Yeah. So if someone knew how to cook, they would cook for everybody. Mary, honestly, it's so inspirational. Like, thank you. I mean, that is why you are our unsung hero, because you're fantastic. Should we go and have some roast dinner now? Because I'm starving. Definitely, me too. Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Mary. You've been so influential in helping to share your story and just generally be a real amazing spokesperson for the projects and you know we literally couldn't be doing these projects without you so <laughs> <laughs> bringing people together around food you know it's normal to sit down as a group of people and eat and eat good food and yeah. having these conversations so you know there's so many impacts that you have made but i want to know what's the plans for the future on a personal side of things recording my first song that Brilliant. I wrote in the village. That is what I'm so looking forward to doing because that is my way of giving back. It has been absolutely fantastic to meet you all. And uh, listen, carry on the great work with Social Bite, with the village, and your music, which I can't wait to hear. Let's cheers to that, guys. Let's enjoy our Toby Carvery. Yeah. Cheers. cheers. I don't think it's quite sunk in yet because I've never thought of myself as anything too special. I've just been me. Mary, final thoughts, take one. I'm gobsmacked. It's giving back to others for what you've been through. If you can make it easier for someone else, that, that helps me. And hopefully it helps them as well. 
just oh, wanted to say thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for sharing your story with us. It's been an absolute privilege. Oh, thank you, the beautiful. And obviously everything that you've done for the community, all the meals that you've cooked, we also wanted to just make sure that the next few meals were on us. I don't know what to say apart from thank you all. It's... I am so thankful. I'm, I'm thankful for every day. Thank you, everybody.